Indian woman's menstrual blood sold for witchcraft. In a shocking incident from Pune, India, a woman has filed a complaint against her own husband and in-laws for allegedly subjecting her to horrific menstrual rituals. According to the woman's complaint, her husband and in-laws not only harassed her during her periods, but also collected her menstrual blood for agori rituals before selling it off. Aghori is a Hindu sect known for its extreme beliefs and practices. They are known for their aesthetic lifestyle, which involves living in cremation grounds, wearing ashes of the dead, and engaging in unconventional rituals, including sometimes even cannibalism. To make matters worse, the woman was reportedly tied up and starved during her menstrual cycle, leading to outrage from activists and netizens alike. The husband and in-laws have been arrested for violating Indian laws that prohibit inhuman activities and black magic. Sadly, this is not an isolated incident in India where many people still believe in superstitious practices and rituals that often victimize women. I was right. This is about the Aghoris. I know. I was going to I was going to say Armin, I'm going to tell you about this and then tell me what sect this comes from, but I spoiled it. <laughs> No, you didn't spoil it because I thought I thought as soon as I saw the skull, I was like a gory. And also yeah. as soon as I saw something opposite than other religious sects, because in religion, they they seem to be most religions are terrified of women's periods for some reason. Okay. And a gory's that's what the, yeah, everybody every religion is like, oh my god, women on periods, that's like the dirtiest thing ever. Like get them away from everything everything just move them away okay but agoris are the upside down religion i, I consider them to be the upside down religion right uh agoris are like everything <laughs> yeah agoris the whole base the whole identity of agoris are like we like what everybody hates right and we are the things that especially hinduism especially it's mm -hmm. the upside down mm -hmm. of hinduism right so it's it's, mm -hmm. it's a part of hinduism but it's also the upside down of Hinduism. Whatever Hinduism hates, we we not not only we love it, we eat it. We eat it, we rub it on our body. So Hinduism hates shit. Um, we eat shit, literally. Um, yeah. Hinduism hates dead bodies. We we have a skull with us all the time. We eat dead bodies too. We eat dead bodies. What was that guy that actually met me to these guys and was made to eat it a was, human brain? No, no. What makes it better is in that CNN special, it was Reza Aslan. Yeah. Reza, Reza Aslan, Aslan got <laughs> terrified by the Agoris. He literally ran away from them. Right. <laughs> he was like, I'm scared. He ate, a, he ate human brain and then he ran away. He was terrified. <laughs> Did he actually, he, he actually he ate him? Yeah, he ate him. That's no. what that, what's going to that's what got it so controversial because people were like, "Why are you actually eating human brain?" But also, that's yeah, very these people risky go, from a health perspective. These people go looking around for like when you, you know, dead bodies, you know, the fresh dead bodies. They go and dig them up and start eating them, right? Mm -hmm. um, and what did it do with the with the Dalits with the untouchable? Like they love the untouchables, right? I don't know. There's something I don't know. I don't know about that. Anyway. Every, so, for example, in Hinduism, there's certain things that are so dirty that only the untouchables or Dalits are supposed to do, right? And these people are like, give it to me, give it all to me. You know, washroom-related stuff, dead people-related stuff, and garbage. You know, I don't eat anything other than garbage, okay? If you give this well, people or like a sandwich, yeah. Well, something because okay, these things in Hinduism are seen as pure, spiritually unclean because they are so deeply connected to the material world they're like as material right. of the material world as you can get right but the agoris invert it because they say we're yes. actually using these things that people find material and dirty and disgusting and we're using our immersion in these things as a way for us to basically pursue ego death right 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 that so the whole so you think these things are bad well, for them, that's the point, because um, we want to be disassociated with these things because we think like we're above these things, right? Because these things are dirty and we want to. So they're like, oh, these things that other people hate, 
we will surround those things, uh, sur you know, surround ourselves with those things so that we have no ego, right? So we're dirty, we're eating things that people don't like. So there's no way that we could uh, see ourselves as um, high, high because look at us, like, look, look at us. We're surrounded with shit and dead body parts and, you know, ash. Um, so nobody likes us and we don't like ourselves because we have no ego, right? So that's the whole point. And th this is why they go after uh, menstrual blood because everybody, like most people are disgusted by it. And they're like, yeah, that's exactly the point. We like it because we, other people are disgusted by it. But what do they do with it? They they drink it? What do so they do with so, I don't. Blood? I don't know what they did with it. So they would take, allegedly, according to this woman's complaint, they would tie her up, restrain her, and for three days, they would starve her, and then they would use cotton or cotton swabs to, excuse me, collect her menstrual blood, and then mm -hmm. sell it, which is, the, the method of me... collecting is very confusing for me, because then, like, what do you do with the cotton swabs? I don't know. I don't understand. I really yeah, don't awesome. understand. <laughs> Awesome is saying maybe they make tea with that. I mean, that would explain the swamp. Oh, God. But, yeah. People are not. By the way, um, we should have brought, like, can we rub the skull? Yeah, D is right. Every time we talk about the guri, we have to rub the skulls. Oh, no, I don't have my skull anymore. Well, I mean, I have it, just not with oh. me. Damn. It's okay. I'll rub it for both of us. I know. You have to make the noise for us. No, I know, I know, I know. This is what we did last time when we got a strike, by the way. So I don't know if this is. We realized that YouTube. Yeah. By the way, why why is he selling it? I thought the whole point of ego death is that you don't need material stuff, but the guy needs money. They're they're, they're selling it allegedly to conduct black magic rituals. Oh, okay. And so that other people okay, can I... conduct black magic rituals, and they were arrested yeah. under Maharashtra's Act for the Prevention and Eradication of Human Sacrifice. And other inhuman eagle, evil and agori practice activities in Black Magic Act of 2013. So the name of the act says that it is, yeah, agori. They put evil and agori in the same sentence. <laughs> Wait. Um, young, young atheist is saying, this is extremely disgusting. These type of people criticize atheists for eating human blood. I mean, agori people don't are not don't talk much about anything do they i don't think you're, you're saying these type of people criticize atheists i don't i've never heard agori people talking about atheists i don't think they have intellectual discussions about <laughs> i don't think they have i don't think they're interested in converting know. anybody yeah no i don't I think don't these know. are the same people young atheists yeah um yeah they just live in a, their own world i don't think they are interested in well i mean to be fair you won't, well, our main exposure to agorias have been the people that go all the way they're living the full aesthetic lifestyle like living in a graveyard like there are other people that have agoric practices that aren't that deep right into it. yes they drink they only drink menstrual blood sometimes not all the time right <laughs> get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description